I've been using shotgun microphones for filmmaking since I was in middle school, but the problem with booming a shotgun mic is that you either need to be wired to the camera or you have to use an external recorder, which then also means you have to remember to hit record on both your camera and the external recorder. And not only that, but when you're done, you still have to sync up the audio to the video in post. Lately, we've been seeing a lot of DIY wireless shotgun mic builds thanks to the explosion of tiny wireless lavalier mics on the market. But a company by the name of Comica just released what I think is the world's first commercial wireless shotgun mic. This is the Comica CVM VM30. It can function as a wired shotgun mic for on-camera use with key features like recording a safety track, and it can function as a wireless shotgun mic thanks to the included receiver. Also, I'm sorry if my voice goes in and out throughout this video. We went to a music festival this past weekend and I tend to overuse my outdoor voice. Let's start off by taking a look at the microphone and its build quality and features. In the carrying case, it comes with the CVM VM30 shotgun mic, a hot shoe shock mount, a mic holder, a windscreen, a dead cat cover, the wireless receiver, 3.5 millimeter audio cables, and a USB-C charging cable. The shotgun mic itself feels well built using metal construction and comes with all the physical controls you'd expect. A physical gain knob to adjust the volume of the microphone, a button to enable high frequency boost or low frequency cut, a power button to turn on and off the microphone as well as enable or disable wireless mode, a 3.5 millimeter out port, and a USB-C charging port. There's even a display on the microphone to show you the battery level, whether you're in normal or safety mode, whether you're wirelessly paired, and your audio levels. On the receiver unit, you have a clip that functions as a hot shoe mount, a power mute button, microphone volume adjustment buttons, a USB-C charging port, your audio out port, and headphone port. On the display, you can see the battery level, the output gain level, mute status, pairing status, and monitor your audio levels. Overall, it's a solid package with everything you need to start capturing some high quality audio. Speaking of audio quality, let's answer the most important question. How good is the audio quality? Well, this whole video is recorded on the Comica CVM VM30 shotgun microphone and throughout I've labeled the settings that were used during recording. So you can be your own judge of the audio quality. I have of course applied some post processing to get it to the sound I like for my videos, but let's take a second and just listen to the raw audio out of the microphone. Hey, what is up guys? David Zhao here. And today we're gonna be looking at the CVM VM30. It's about two feet away from my face. Um, it has the gain set to uh, 10 out of 10, which is what the microphone can put out. Uh, the receiver has a plus 6 dB amplifier on there. And then on the camera preamp itself, I also have it set to uh, audio input of five. This is two feet away. This is what I would typically boom a microphone away from me. Let's go ahead and do a little microphone test. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, one, two, three. Did I get you? What I also wanna do is I wanna go ahead and compare this to a different microphone, specifically the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, mainly because for a long time, that was the go-to microphone that like every single YouTuber used, myself included. I've used it for YouTube videos, client work, short films, you name it. All right, so this is a test of the on-camera setup, right? This is a wired mode. We have the Comica CVM VM30 running directly into the camera via a audio uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. So this is kind of what it would sound like if you just had it mounted on your camera, kind of like you would typically with a uh, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Uh, now we've got the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus hooked up to the camera, right? We have the plus 20 dB setting on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Overall, I think the audio coming out of the VM30 just sounds more full body. You get the highs and you get the lows. Whereas on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, it's a good microphone, but the it just sounds a bit muddy. Like, you know, there's just too much bass and it's losing some of that fidelity. I don't know. I think the audio coming out of this thing is pretty great. So let's talk about two of my favorite features about this microphone. The first big feature, of course, is the fact that it's wireless. And like, so what does that mean? Think about the scenarios. If you're on set, right, this just eliminates the need of running a wire. If you're running a wire all the way to your camera, First of all, that is such a pain and also limits where you can put stuff and you have to keep all of that in mind. But even if you're just running it off to an external recorder like a Zoom H4n, 
like we said in the beginning, you still have to make sure the recorder is running while the camera's also rolling. I've had so many times where we rolled, we got the video and we realized the audio wasn't running. But even if everything goes perfectly, you still have the added hassle of having to sync everything in post. If you're shooting in more of a studio setup, something like this where you're booming the microphone, it's one less thing to worry about. You don't have to deal with cables. But also if you're shooting using an on camera, more run and gun, right? You can do that too with the wired mode. And on top of that, if you go around and do a lot of like interview type content, this can also function as a handheld microphone. Really the beauty of this microphone is it can kind of do it all. The second big feature that I really like about this microphone is that in wired mode, so unfortunately can't do this in the wireless mode, but in wired mode, you can turn on the safety track feature, which basically means that you are now recording, you know, to one channel, right? Your left and your right channel. For one channel, you're recording whatever you set the uh, microphone gain at. And then on the second channel, it records a backup track with the gain set to negative six dB. And you now have backup audio that isn't clipping. All right, so this is a pretty feature rich and high quality microphone. So the next question naturally is how much does it cost? Shockingly, it's launching at 189 US dollars, which is kind of insane. I'd equate the audio quality to that of a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus or VideoMic NTG, which both come in at around $250. And filmmakers and creators like Caleb Pike over at DSLR Video Shooter have been using devices like the Rode Go 2 systems as a way to convert wired microphones into wireless microphones. But that combination would run you around $450. Honestly, even without the wireless capability, I would already consider this a great budget shotgun microphone for filmmakers. It definitely beats the type of microphones I was using when I first started making short films. But add in the wireless capability and that makes this a no-brainer when it comes to recommending it to you guys. Mark my words, Rode and every other prosumer oriented audio company is gonna start producing a shotgun microphone with a wireless module built in. Of course, links are in the description down below if you're interested in checking out this incredible microphone. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on the audio quality of this microphone. Would this be something you would want to add to your kit? All right. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my coverage of the latest in filmmaking gear, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and get notified of when new videos are uploaded. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.